Alright guys, welcome back to your 22nd XHTML and CSS tutorial and as promised, I'm going to be talking to you guys about borders and I'm not talking about like the Mexican US border, I'm talking about borders in CSS. Now, as I mentioned before, or at least I think I mentioned this before, the border is the area that surrounds or basically it outlines the padding so what I did before this tutorial is I just set the overall padding to 15 pixels so we have the content and we have 15 pixels of padding around it so now what I need to do is show you guys what a border is so let me make one of the ugliest borders ever I'm just gonna make it stand out and I'm gonna make like a red border or something so the border you think you might just be able to type border in type of red but you can't just do that border actually has three properties that you need to set in order to make a border the first one is border color and let's just go ahead and set this equal to red that should look pretty good and the second one is width how wide or thick do you want your border and that's border width and I'm just gonna make mine like three pixels or something that'll be good enough and the last um, excuse me, the last element you need to set when working with the border is border style. Now, I think by default it might be solid, but let's see if I can remember. There's dotted, dashed, um, I think there's one called double, groove, inset, outset, um, solid. I, anyways, you can look them up online if you forget them, but let's go ahead and uh, I'll add a simple one. Border minus style dash and this gives you like dotted lines basically so now let's go ahead and save this and see what we get when we refresh this we get a red three pixels wide dashed border pinky cool huh so this kinda actually reminds me of a coupon that you would cut out so if you're making a website with coupons coupons to love Bucky then uh you know there you go I just basically made it for you so that is basically how you do that and another cool thing I want to mention before I let you guys go is each side can have its own border so whenever you think of something with a border you typically think the border is consistent all the way around but sometimes when you're creating a website you want the top to be one thing or maybe you only want a border on the bottom like it's underlined in a cool type of way so you can do that using some special border properties and that's this say you want to change like the top or something you can use border minus top minus color and set this equal to like green that looks good and now what you can do is like put border minus top minus style and let's make this one dotted and now let's go ahead and uh... oh yeah the width border minus top minus width and set this equal to like four pixels bump it up a little bit and if I didn't mess up mess up anything I should get a nice dotted green four pixel border across the top so this looks pretty ugly right now <laughs> but trust me if you work with it I mean uh, most people you just use this when they want to underline something like if it's like the uh, title of a paragraph or title of an article or something but I just want to show you guys a quick example so I made the ugliest website I could possibly make but anyways um, I showed you guys how to do that on the top but if you just replace this word top with bottom left or right then you guys can see the other effects that it can have I'm not gonna go through bottom left and right because it's obviously it's obvious what it would do so anyways that is how you make a border whether you want it consistent you just write border minus the property or if you want it on one side you write border minus what side you want minus the property and then write the value so anyways that's basically all there is to borders um nothing else I can think of so anyways thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next tutorial where we're probably gonna be covering margin so I'll see you then